I'm back. Who? It doesn't matter. My name's Abe. I love figures. Let's talk about figures. And today, I will be talking about this bad boy right here. War Machine Egg Attack figure from Hong Kong. I am not a statue collector at all. I love posing my figures, and I would say Egg Attack and this guy right here is mostly a bobbly looking statue. How I got this figure? My friend went to Hong Kong for me, shout out to Eddie. He went to Hong Kong and he knows that I'm super into Marvel and figures and Hong Kong is the land of toys and whatnot. So he was kind enough to get this as a gift for me. This figure I had since 2014. I did not open it ever since because I knew this channel was going to exist someday. So, box review. War Machine right here. War Machine on the side. Oh, look at that. That's War Machine at the back. War Machine right here. Oh my gosh, the top? What does that say? Can you read that for me? War Machine. And the bottom? What do you know? War Machine. That's all you gotta know about the box. Now let's open it up. There's a Velcro right here, and boom. I'm assuming you're seeing War Machine, right? War Machine. Who? War Machine. Also, you guys should check out that Kendrick DNA song because War Machine is in that video. All we gotta do is we gotta lift it open. Let's see what's inside. But there's a lot of dust. There's a lot of dust in here, whatever. Wait, this is actually pretty cool. It's in this plastic thing that most figures come in and there's this clear case that surrounds it and we take it out and boom, what is this? The stand that says War Machine. Iron Man 2 War Machine, but I just wanted to say War Machine. Not bad, not bad. There's just random pieces of plastic that's encasing the figure, and as we take it out, are there any accessories? No accessories, just these two pieces. Wait, this figure is actually pretty cool. I do not collect this line at all, but I'm thoroughly impressed with the quality of it, and it's just fantastic. I mean, look at the detail. The detail is phenomenal. The base, I mean, the base is whatever, but hey, you know, we need a base for figures, right? There's a switch in the back of the base. I don't have batteries right now because, well, batteries are also expensive. There's no magnets to hold them in place, but I don't think that's a problem because unless there's an earthquake or you leave it outside or you push it, I don't know why you would do any of those other than the earthquake. But yeah, this, will, this figure is sturdy enough to hold on its own. We'll talk about the size. The figure with the stand is about eight, a little over eight inches, a little less than eight inches. But with, without the base, it's about, it's not even seven inches. Size comparisons, let's put him next to Spider-Man, the one I already reviewed. Clearly Spider-Man's a lot shorter. Wait, you know what? I have a good idea. Spidey deserves a stage of anything. Welcome to the dance floor, boys. And here he is next to my favorite skincare product, the Centella Blemish Cream. You should go get it, by the way. Honestly, that was very anticlimactic. I was expecting it to have a lot of accessories and, oh, you gotta put it on like this and twist it apart and whatnot, but that was it. You guys experienced it with me. But this figure's dope. Peace. Boom. The end.